dear students now we are going to discuss core and gliding losses in detail the core and gliding losses are the propagation losses in the optical fiber when we are going to apply input optical pulses to the fiber cable we can get the output with some losses due to the refractive index variation between core and gliding here n1 is the refractive index of the core n2 is the refractive index of the gliding here n1 is always greater than n2 since the core and gliding are having different refractive indexes there are two attenuation coefficients used to represent the losses okay alpha 1 and alpha 2 next we are going to analyze the core and gliding losses for step index fiber in detail for step index fiber the loss for a mode with order v comma m here v is the frequency m is the mode number that value is given as alpha 1 p core by p that is the fractional power of the core power plus alpha 2 gliding power by p here p is the total power in the fiber so here p core by p and b gliding by p both are the fractional powers in the optical cable okay for low order modes this fractional power of core is equal to 1 minus the fractional power of gliding with respect to the total power consider this as the second equation we are going to substitute the second equation in this first equation then the overall propagation loss is equal to alpha 1 the score fractional power is replaced with this value 1 minus gliding power by total power plus alpha 2 gliding power by total power then we can multiply this alpha 1 inside this bracket we can get the value like this so in this one this fractional power and this one both are same we can take it as common one okay then we can get the core gliding losses for step index fiber as alpha 1 plus alpha 2 minus alpha 1 multiplied with gliding power by total power so from this expression the total attenuation is equal to the sum of all modes weighted by the fractional power in that mode okay so this is the attenuation loss or core gliding loss for the step index fiber next we are going to analyze the loss for this graded index fiber so here graded index means the index is not uniform it is continuously changed with respect to the radial distance from the core axis okay so it is a complicated process hence it is difficult to derive the core gliding losses in this graded index fiber so in this graded index fiber the attenuation coefficients alpha 1 and alpha 2 and modal power both are functions of radial coordinate that is radial distance r okay here the loss at radial distance r from the core axis is given as alpha of r that is attenuation as a function of radial distance okay that is equal to alpha 1 plus alpha 2 minus alpha 1 multiplied with the term n squared of 0 minus n squared of r by n squared of 0 minus n2 squared so here n squared of 0 that is the refractive index value at the origin of the core axis that is the radial distance r is equal to 0 here this is the refractive index function at distance r okay so here the loss of the given graded index mode is given as alpha gi that is equal to integration of this loss at a particular distance multiplied with the power at radial distance r into the radial distance with respect to dr divided by integration of p of r r into dr okay do you all understand this concept so here in this graded index fiber the attenuation loss or core gliding loss is purely dependent on the radial distance so here p of r is nothing but power density of that mode at a distance r here n of r is with respect to the radial distance here the loss increases with an increasing mode number okay in graded index 
the last depends on the mode number and the radial distance okay